Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You two. We back. It's going down right now. Chris Loco, the one, the only man bun. Today's a special day. It's not only the one, the two, the three, the four. It's the fifth year anniversary between me and my wife. We going out. So while we're doing the date thing, I'm leaving you guys with this one. Just so you guys know, this is my little brother. I know he looks older than me. He's got a lot more facial hair than me, but I decided to bless him. If you're new to my channel, make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right here, right there, or there, or even there. Just make sure you hit the subscribe button in the bottom right corner right there. All right, guys. Hope you guys learned something see you guys at the end all right y'all so as you can see my brother's looking pretty rough we gotta get him in the game so let's start by parting the hair and i'm gonna take my number two detachable guard using my andis super zrs love this clipper wireless no cord in the way but what i'm doing guys is i'm just knocking down the hair getting this bulk out of my way making sure i don't cut in the man button as you guys can see here stretching that skin knocking it all down and if you guys watch my last video you notice that I always start with the half or no guard open and that's just so I can judge how high I want my blend to be how high do I want to take the skin so I'll start by putting my first guideline and then I'll take my five zero and this is how I do all my ball fades actually. I don't use my trimmers, I don't like to burn them out. You know, those things are my hitters, so I gotta make sure I keep them on point. I mean, that's what this clipper's made for, knock out all the bulk, right? So, use it. And then my shaver. So, something I learned along the way is to avoid that ball line with the shaver, start by going down, then bringing the shaver up. Kinda like cutting with the grain pretty much. And then my whole method of fading is open, close, mid, open, close, mid. It might work for you, it might not, but try it out. And I'm just gradually opening it up. And as you guys can see, my brother has a, kind of a few dips in his head. So I use the clipper at different lengths to make sure that that fade is perfect so that there's no dark spots or lines of demarcation in his head just making sure I get everything nice and blended and I think this is the most important part of the fade that uh, skin to one guard blend I think that's crucial to making sure that you know a skin fade is perfect the higher numbers yeah they matter but I don't think as much so I'm gonna start with the one guard open and I'm using the double magnet Andis guards, the purple guards that everybody knows about. And I'm using them, the one guard will blend right into the two is what I'm trying to say. I got the one guard closed here. Making my next guideline. And now this step, some people feel like you don't have to do it. I do it just in case, you know, when that client gets up, he steps in the sunlight, there's no, you know, invisible line so I go halfway with the one one guard I knock out that line just to make sure that there's no bulk just as a safety net now my zero guard I never really open it all the way but sometimes if you know there's a small line of demarcation I will but I usually start with it halfway you know soften up that line that's there soften up that weight a little bit then I'll close it and I kind of use it as an angle, at an angle, just kind of using the corner teeth or the last few edge of the cutting blade. Here I'm gonna fade in his beard. You know, he can't have too much facial hair at work, so we try to keep it light. So now remember, when you're fading a beard, you're kind of fading backwards. So here I'm actually opening. I'm gradually opening the lever. So I got the zero guard now. And as I get closer to his mustache and goatee area, I'll open it a little more. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Start by parting the hair. And 
you guys just got to come up with a system that really works for you. Um, that's kind of the biggest advice that I've gotten when I first started out uh, barbering is, you know, I try to copy everybody else and make it work for me, but you guys got to find a system that works for you. And it needs to be a system that you attack every haircut pretty much the same way. You know, I'll always start by knocking down my longest length first, then I'll come with the half, then the five zero, and I'll attack every haircut that way, unless it's, you know, something that is not skin. But I already know in my head what clipper I'm gonna use before a client even asks for their haircut, pretty much. So just be patient, you know, you guys are gonna get reps in and over time you'll build your system and you'll start to make, you know, small adjustments, you know. I used to use a triple zero before I was introduced to the five zero, you know. So you'll make minor adjustments to alter your system, but that's how you're gonna get faster. That's how your blends are gonna come out smoother. Cause now you can focus time into detail work versus, you know, racing against the clock. So again, I'm using my five zeros to bald out. Using the shaver, I know you guys see me do it there. I was going down first. Now I'm coming up into it, flicking it, just like if it was a clipper. And I got my lever closed. And I'm just gradually opening it. Remember, my method is open, close, mid. Open, close, mid. Now with my masters, hey man, they have notches on them. Use those notches. I'll go notch by notch while I have no guard on. Why not? When you're using something like wall seniors or the wall magic clips, it's kind of more of a feeling and looking at what you're doing, but I mean, Hey, you got a tool, it's not cheating. Use those notches, man. Use them to your advantage. And this video, just so you guys know, was a request from Mr. Aless. You guys can follow him on Instagram at 1998 underscore Sandro. He just caught the pair of masters and his masters and um, was just wondering how it is fading with them. So said, hey, let me a video real quick using them and crazy story is like right before i started filming this video i dropped them and i chipped my tooth look at that man this barber's worst nightmare cutting with a chipped tooth um but it is the cutting blade so it's not gonna hurt them at all i used a 28 tooth blade on my andis masters by the way so stock i believe they come with 22 teeth on the cutting blade for andis masters i believe it's 22 um, but I bought a 28 tooth blade. It just helps the cut a little bit more precise. And I'm using the Black Label Edition Andis Masters. I like them. Just wish Andis made them where the, the black coat doesn't chip away. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, man. Write in the comment. I thought this fade was coming out pretty good. funny all these Walmart challenges coming out now I remember cutting my brother's hair back in the day with Walmart clippers <laughs> good times man and that just goes to show an individual's growth man a lot of us started with Walmart clippers or something even worse than that you know and now a lot of people you know are doing big things in the industry and that's awesome man just building up the industry it's great great for everybody so if you're a student barber and you're new to this whole cutting thing give it time man like don't don't be in a rush to be the, the best that's out there you know always strive for greatness but don't give up you know like if you're not getting it today you might get it two months from now it might just click there's always that that pivotal moment in every barber's career where it just clicks and you, you finally get it you know like a year ago designs was one of my weaknesses now now I think it's one of my strengths you know I'm the go-to design guy in my shop and people are coming at me for designs, you know, somebody like Matt Gift of Hands or uh, that Barber Fabo on Instagram, you guys can follow him, you know, they were big mentors for me for doing design work and now, you know, I love doing designs. So right here, guys, I feel like the no guard open is the perfect length for, you know, a pretty low mustache. It's not like all on their face. Lining them up. 
my brother never knows what he wants to do with his mustache, so it's kind of like whatever I decided I wanted to do. So I decided uh, I'm going to go thin on his mustache here. Not pencil line thin, but <laughs> just clean him up. Give him that sharp look. And the mustache is the only time I will ever really reach over a, a client's face. You notice when I do my edge or when I shave somebody's face, I usually, I, I'm shaving from that side of their body. I don't like reaching over somebody's body. And that just goes back to customer service. Again, that, that arch on the edge, perfect. It's really light, so just giving it a little extra detail, the trimmer. And the trimmers are adjusted. Yes, they are. These are my wall heroes. They are adjusted. They're adjusted as close as possible, um, where I can still use them on kids. I can press. They won't cut them. These are my hitters. I love these trimmers. These are my go-to right now in my arsenal. Used to be my Slimline Pros, um, but mostly I just use those for design works now or like kids that are always moving that I can't use my heroes on because of the cord. And make sure you're letting your trimmers do all the work, you know. Don't, don't press extra hard in into the skin, like, just let them work. See a lot of barbers like digging and digging and digging. Then your client gets all this irritation. And you don't want that. So right now I got the one guard and just knocking down the bulk of his hair on his edge. Knocking down those baby hairs. And if you notice, I started in the middle and then I came to the his right side. Sorry, I have to think about that. <laughs> you notice I'm on this side of his head. Like I'm standing on this side of his head as I'm edging him up, not reaching across his body. That's one way to prevent, you know, a crooked edge. Then I switch to the other side, start in the middle again, and I'll work my way to his left side, your right side. Letting the trimmer do his work. Take your time. All right, and when you're doing the box part of the edge, you know, don't go straight down. You kind of want to angle it a little bit. And the reason why is because you don't want it to look like they're going backward, like the box is going backwards. Bro, my brother has a real bony structured face. As you can see, high cheekbones, very uh, pronounced jawline. Gotta use the corner of the blade to line them up underneath. Use my 5-0 to clean up. Told you guys, just like, I, same. if you notice, I'm using the same steps to every type a fade that I'm doing. So anytime I want to clean up, I use my 5-0. And I use my shaver. And it goes in that same system. 5-0, then shaver. Just make sure I get every hair. I notice barbers will do that sometimes. Like they'll leave like small little hairs. Like if it's meant to be bald underneath his jawline, get every hair, you know? When you're done with the service, take the cape off. There's still a little bit of hair right around the Adam's apple area. Clean that up. Like That's a huge difference in your client coming back to you. It all goes back to customer service. Your job is to service that client for that period of time. So if they're gonna pay you, you know, to do their beard, make sure it's done right. 
trust me, clients notice these things. You ever get that client that goes into the bathroom after you cut their hair? That's what they're looking at. Trust me, they don't have to use the bathroom for the fifth time. They're looking to make sure you got the hair under their neck or behind their ear. Like these are huge points. Now you know we gotta use that 245 shave gel, best shave gel on the market. I'm trying to sell you guys, but uh, tomb45.com. You could also get your dual cartridge razor right there, the exposed and unexposed. Make sure you check out my last video. Explain how to use that, what blades we use, how to properly mount. All right. I'm just using the razor and just, just gliding, you know, that 245 makes it like butter. Now, if you notice what I'm doing is that there's a little bit of buildup, and that's from the shave gel, right? So I'll have him blow a bubble right now, and that's just so I can get the proper angle, because like I said, he does have a bony facial, facial structure. Pulling the skin. So that buildup that's there, we're gonna wipe that off in just a second. And the reason why is because once you wipe that off, that line you'll see is not as smooth as you think it is. And I notice a lot of barbers do that as well. Like they'll just leave that buildup. And then the client will wipe it off and that, that smooth edge, perfect edge that they had, it's gone. And like I said, see guys, this is the only time you'll see me reach over a client's face. It's just to do the mustache. Get that gel out the way. Just tap that line up a little bit. Have him blow that bubble one more time. And this is one thing you guys gotta do. Um, Matt Gifted Hands, make sure you guys follow his channel, but he says that a lot. You know, he he taught me this, man. Training your clients to, you know, to shave them properly so that it's comfortable for them and that you get the best effect out of it. Shaving cues is what he likes to call it. Whether it's biting down, blowing a bubble, um, a twist of the cheek, turning their head, you know? You need to be comfortable with that you're cutting your client. Don't let your client put you in an uncomfortable position because at the end of the day, you're trying to give them the best services possible. So you wanna make sure they're comfortable, but you need to be comfortable as well. And there you guys have it. The Man Bun by Chris Loco. And we're back. Well, there you have it, guys. The Man Bun using the Andis Masters with the Purple Guard Double Magnet. Hope you guys learned something from it. Get to typing away on those comments below. Let me know what you guys think, what you guys want next. Till next time, YouTube.